Hey everybody, uh, really, really excited to finally do a tutorial on how I created, um, let me go to it, marks, how I created this animation here, let's see, perfect, um, it's a little blurry, but it's because my phone's, I mean my computer's terrible. But it's essentially a blurred background with circles and then a glass morphism card all through Swift UI. Um, and so, uh, to give you a little overview, you're going to want to make an account with rive.app. And you're going to want to make sure that you create your animation first. So, that circle animation you saw in the background, I went into rive.app, added some basic circles, right? And after that, there's like this animate tab and you can, you know, create these really cool complex animations. Um, and so I created this basic animation with that loops. And then when I'm done and I need to start and I need to add it uh, to Xcode, I go ahead and click download and make sure you get for newest runtime. Okay. After that, you want to go back to ride that app and you're going to need to go to documentation and then head on down and I'll put this link in the description but in case you're wanting head on down to iOS and then get this uh, github link and then what you're going to do is you're going to need to copy this and head on over to add packages in Xcode and you're going to want to add this package here, right? I am, you, you guys are going to have to test this. So on my computer, this uh, branch with main works, okay? Some, my old computer up to next major version worked, but an error that you will typically see is um, when you go to import Rive runtime, like I have here, when I go, when I go to do this, um, it doesn't show up usually and that usually means you should try you know another package setting and for those who don't know you can head around over here to see the packages in your um, uh, file so what I plan on doing is um, instead of yeah I'm kind of giving it away here but instead of just coding everything you know that's going to take me a while and you know could risk some error what i wanted to do is essentially tell you how i created how, walk you through it and just i'm going to copy i commented all the code out and then i'm, I'm going to go copy it and then paste it in here um, so we can save time and less error that way as well so to start i have a base i i um you obviously just start usually with the text field and a new file um, but I have, I added hello world, and then I added another text, um, blah, 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 blah. And I added this into a V stack, okay? And this V stack is gonna be your card, okay? So this is gonna be your card, okay? And then this Z stack is essentially allowing you to put things behind your card or your background, right? So you can call this background, okay? And then, um, what we're going to do first is we're going to format the text, okay? Um, actually, no, we're not. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and add a uh, background to the Z stack, okay? Um, so now we have a beautiful background. You can't see our text, right? That's okay. Um, this is what's pretty much happening when you when you use a z stack whatever's on top is going to go in the very back whatever is near the bottom parentheses of the z stack is going to show up front so we obviously want the v stack to be in front of the background so that the v stack so that this card that's represented by this v stack can show up so what we're going to do is we're going to format the text right now and i'm going to come in here grab this and we're going to put this right here and we're going to uncomment highlight okay so now what we have is we have a hello world for um for this text and what i've done is just add a couple modifiers so 
first modifier um, is dot font system size um, 28 bold and rounded I'm actually gonna remove this because we don't need it we shouldn't need it instead we need to do something like alignment dot deleting and this should show you yes, there you go and what this will do when you add alignment dot deleting is it makes everything in this card align to the left um, so then the next thing is we need to grab uh, this text format here and highlight everything control I to make it neat and what we have here is the same thing font.system information to for the actual font size um, foreground some padding and bottom I don't know, I like this closer like that okay so sweet so right now we have the text formatted how we wanted and honestly this should be dot opacity points point seven five so that's a little fade there you know I might even want eight five and then now what we're gonna do is we're gonna style the card okay so let's come in here and we're gonna first grab these two guys and I'm gonna explain what this is gonna do come in here uncomment fix the code so what we're what we're saying you can already see it so what we're saying here uh, okay 10 through 40 10 to 6 Okay, so what we're saying here is I want my card to be 240 pixels and max width of infinity, right? And just as a reference here, I'm going to put this back and instead, let me just make sure I do this. Okay, okay. Okay, perfect. It's still there so I can reference it later okay so pretty much what we're saying is we want this V stack to cover up the whole width here so that's exactly what it's doing it's covering up the whole width um, and then we want it to be a height of 240 so you can see the outline right here right next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add a background to it okay and we're gonna do this come in here and grab that so what this background is is a black is a linear gradient background on this v stack and it's uh, it's starting from the top from the from the left and headed down to the bottom right and it has an opacity the left black the color le uh, black that's on the left side has a 50 percent opacity and the color black on the right side has a 10 percent opacity so this is what's essentially going to give us that see-through feeling Next thing we have to do is we got to come in here and we got to add a mask, okay? So after we have the background modifier, the order is important, guys. So background modifier, we're going to add a mask, and it's going to be a rounded rectangle with a corner radius of 30, and then it also has a blur, okay? So this rec rounded rectangle is masking this V-stack, giving it a 30% corner radius, and you'll see it in a second. The next thing we got to do is add an overlay. So the overlay is going to be right here. And let's fix the code. And this overlay um, rounded rectangle is going to have the same uh, stuff as the the corner radius. The, the rectangle. The, it's going to have the same corner radius as the right, rounded rectangle above it, but instead. It's going to have a stroke. You see this? There's the stroke, the thin stroke. Um, has uh, And it's gray, and then it has 100% um, opacity, and then 10% opacity. Headed from the top left down to the bottom right. So after that, what we're going to need to do is we're going to grab these two. Okay. And what this pretty much is, 
Okay, so what this pretty much is, is um, a background, a, a, a box shadow behind this, the stack card, and it's going to go down Y15, and it has a radius of 30, and it's black. Um, and then we have padding on each side of this card, and on the left and right side, and it's going to be 40. Okay, so we have our card designed. Right. Next thing what we're going to do is we want to add our states and the state is going to be tap. Right. So this is going to be an animation that happens when we tap this tap the card. OK. And the first animation I do have is right here on the frame to call this animation. It's going to be like something like this. And then it's going to look something like this. Okay, so pretty much what this is saying is when I click tap and when I add a on tap dresser to my hello card, it's going to turn tap to true. And when I turn the state tap to true, I want the max width to go from dot infinity to 340 and then the height to go from 240 to 260. Okay, so we got that down. And then what we're going to need is a tap here so that the padding also gets reduced. Um, last but not least, we're going to need a dot on tap gesture and we're going to need uh, to do this um, with animation and then we're going to do tap dot toggle and we're going to make sure that we add a that spring to this and I used the wrong thing. Maybe like this. Okay. That should be working. There we go. Okay, so we're good there. So now what we can do is we can click play and we can see that this clearly animates, right? And it honestly is being responsive. So the last thing we need to do is we need to add Rive, okay? So you've installed the Rive package, you've brought, you've added, you downloaded the animation.rive file. Um, this is the name of my file in Rive. I created a folder in, the down, in my downloads folder and drove this animation.rive file into it and then I drug it into this file and made sure I copied everything, right? Now this is where the magic happens. So I come down here and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab this and we're gonna uncomment. And right away you're gonna see that I add a Rive view model with parentheses file name animation. I call this animation.rive and I add a view to it. So now it's making this animation a view. So as you can see, I have my really cool circle animation. Look how freaking cool it looks behind my card. <laughs> so now what I can do is, since this is a view, I can add modifiers to it. So I can do edges, Ignore safe area all. Where is it? Okay, so boom. Now it's stretching across the whole screen. Like, look at this. Look how cool. Now this is my favorite part, okay? This is where we come in here and we add a Doppler and we add a radius of 40. Now look at it. Now that's cool. And look, you can come in here animates perfect. I mean, we could even do something like this too. Let's come into the V stack and let's do a dot offset of uh, Y. Um, let's do tap minus uh, 200 by zero. 
Okay. So when I click this, look it even look, you can get it to move. Look at that. Now that come on guy. Like look and look. Look how much. This took me fifteen minutes. I mean obviously I'm I'm copying my code, but that's not a lot of code. And honestly I can I can condense this as well. You know? Like I could I could honestly um, make these extensions, you know, if I wanted to. But come on guys. Come on. So my computer started really loud there. Um, but hope you guys really enjoyed this tutorial. I mean, I'm going to keep making more of this stuff. Um, working on something really cool. Another um, animated tutorial uh, for sure. And uh, obviously, I, you know, if you have any suggestions, anything you want to see, go ahead and drop in the comments. Make sure you subscribe. Follow me on Twitter. That's where the real action is happening. And I'll see you in the next video.